Today I'm going to discuss uh, an update and repair of the water pump on the older engine. This would be on the TXTs and also applicable to the Pampera. Basically we're, we're talking about this clutch cover with the water pump built into the cover. Uh, different colors and slight variances over the years but this will be applicable to everything except the Pro model trial bike. First thing you want to do when you have your clutch cover off is to clean off your gasket material with a scraper. You want to be careful not to gouge your cover but I've gotten this mostly done here but this is how you do this and then carefully you want to clean it off of the engine also be aware that the older engine the cases are magnesium so it's a softer material you need to be careful not to gouge into that material when you're scraping away your gasket what I do after I have my water pump apart because there's a gear that sits here that's above the surface is I have a, a sanding block and this is 220 grit sandpaper and I run around the cover like this and this gets rid of the final remaining gasket material and makes for a very good seal. The original gaskets from Gas Gas are coated with wax. I do not recommend any type of sealant. Uh, when you use a silicone sealant it just ends up being a mess and some squeezes into the inside of the engine and especially never use a sealant anywhere near the water pump system because those small that sealant that squeezes into the system can obstruct your radiator and your water pump impeller. We have the old style shaft and the new style shaft and this is what they look like in comparison. So to do this update we have our new seal and we have a shaft and it now has a clip here also on the previous shaft it had a diameter change for the larger seal so this is actually what sat against the bearing in this clutch cover right here but now because the shaft is the same diameter throughout you'll place this clip here then you will lubricate the seal with silicone grease and you very carefully so as not to fold over the lip you'll put your seal onto the shaft okay and there that clip is installed there is a spacer washer that just lays in here on top of this bearing it just goes right in there like that the purpose of that is to be certain that you do not install this seal too deep that way the seal won't be touching this clip so that spacer ring basically is, is to space the seal up enough to allow for the distance of this little clip that's now in the assembly. Here I am on the 19th of May, 2021. This is the water pump not pro. It assembles like this. We take apart the pump. We take off the seal. There's a spacer washer in here, which sometimes it's a little tight, and this is the correct washer. What I do is I just run it around the belt sander once or just take a file. It's only like a quarter of a millimeter too big in some cases. And the reason this sits here. is because of this little circlip right there. What this does is it spaces the seal so the seal edge here doesn't get nicked by this spinning circlip. Then you have this circlip there. Between the two bearings is this circlip that sits in the engine case. There's a groove for it. Then that's what separates the bearings and keeps the whole pump centered in the case. Then on this end, the drive gear end, the gear has a little lip on it. 
that faces down this little pin that's in the kit goes in that hole in the in the shaft and that those two slots on that gear fit down over there that keeps the gear locked onto the shaft so there you have how this goes together so you put it together the shaft seal and clip is inserted into the cover from the outside now I've lubricated the exterior of the seal also with silicone grease and everything must be very clean when you're removing these seals it's easy to damage this case by prying so it's best to heat this area with a hair dryer or heat gun then when you very carefully pry out the seal it should release okay if you have problems take a small piece of wood and use it as a as a buffer between your pry tool and always be sure you are careful with your tools so you don't impale yourself with a screwdriver or something one final little note regarding pressing the seal in I always take a hobby knife like this and go around this sharp edge this is aluminum so it's not a big deal but just to deburr this edge of where the seal sits in the end you have a slight little bevel and that'll help you to um, prevent the seal from catching when you're pushing it in alternatively I show in my older video here uh, using some sockets but you know you can set this up in a vise too with a couple of sockets and just very neatly press that seal in uh, especially if you have a second person a second set of hands to kind of help you position everything okay I have a socket and it's a pretty good fit here for what I want to do and and I'm using the the blunt side of it and this is what I'm going to use to press the seal and shaft in the thing is you're going to also need something underneath here also so that the, sh the shaft can come through here okay I have the seal pressed in and now we will place the small pin through the hole in the shaft and you have to be able to pick it up there we go it goes in this hole here like that on these gears early models the gear is perfectly flat on the later models there is a shoulder on one side of the gear here if you're reusing your early gear you will have a spacer washer that will go on first on the shaft so it's going to go there and then your pin will go in like that and then your gear it doesn't matter which way it goes on the later one where you have a shoulder on one side of the gear the shoulder goes down and it's going to be replacing that washer or you'll not use the washer if you're updating to a newer gear also then you're going to have your final clip that's installing here keep in mind that on a circ clip there is two sides the sharp side when you're feeling in the center there's a sharp edge and a dull edge the sharp edge always needs to point towards pressure so in this case to hold the gear on the sharp edge would be pointing up that gives it a good grip in its channel so we're going to install our circ clip here with this sharp edge pointing up and install it on the shaft being certain that it's seated then finally we just have to spin on the impeller on this model the impeller spins on clockwise okay there it's not necessary to over tighten that it tightens itself by being against the force of the water as it's rotating I have my o-ring that sits in the case 
A little bit of silicone grease on the o-ring will help it stick in position during your assembly so it's not falling out. And then your cover goes on here. Remember not to over tighten the screws. You want to be sure that this gear meshes with the gear on the engine so as you're placing this on there if you have left the cover off the pump you can use your finger to rotate the impeller slightly as you're placing the cover on this way you have you're certain that the gear falls into place correctly and that's pretty much it and this is how you can update your older machine to a very uh, modern water pump design and it'll work for a long period for you so uh, you'll have fresh antifreeze 50 50 mixture that's pretty much it on updating the water pump on your older machine that's it for today Thank you for watching.